Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the next type of your sorts and indices rule. Yeah, this is your question. If 3 to the power of x plus 8 is equivalent to 27 to the power of 2x plus 1, then x is equivalent to what? See, based on the power value a power m into a power n which is equivalent to a to the power of m plus n. Here, 3 to the power of x plus 8 is equivalent to 27 to the power of 2x plus 1. So, I can consider this 27 as 3 power value, 3 cube, the whole power 2x plus 1. Now, a power m, the whole power n means I can consider a power m into n. Similarly, 3 to the power of x plus 8 is equal to 3 twos are 6x plus 3. Now, the base values are same. Hence, x plus 8 is equal to 6x plus 3. So, hence, answer is 6x minus x is 5x. 8 minus 3 is 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5 by 5. I can subtract the value. My plus 3 will come here means it becomes 8 minus 3. So, x will be coming here means 6x minus 6. Therefore, 5x is equal to x. Hence, x value is 1. See what is the answer? Option B is correct. We will move on to your next question. If x to the power of y equal to 1156, then the value of x minus 3 the whole square is equal to what? Here we want to find out the base value of x and also power value. Hence the base value is x and the power value is y. x to the power of y is equal to 1156. Okay, now x to the power of y is equal to 1156. 1156 prime factorization method. We can consider this is 2, 2. Divide by 2 means 5, 2 is 10. 7, 2 is 14. 8, 2 is 16. Again divide by 2. 2, 2 is 4. Reminder 1. 8, 2 is 16. Reminder 1. 9, 2 is 18. 17. 17, 17. Again 17 by cancelled by 17. Hence, the x value will be 2 square into 17 square which is equal to 1156 now. So, I can take 2 into 17 the whole power 2. A power m into B power m. A power m into B power m we can return as A into B the whole power m. So, here 2 into 17 the whole square is equal to 1156. Hence, 2 into 17 is 34. Hence, x value is 34. So, 34 power 2. Here, x is your 34 and y is your 2. Your question is x minus 3 the whole square is equal to what? What is the x value here? 34 minus 3 the whole square is equal to what? 34 minus 3 is 31 square is equal to what? So, 31 into 31 hence the answer is 9, 6, 1. So, option B is correct. So, as usual, we will learn the laws of thirds and indices. Based on indices and thirds laws, we can apply each and every square, every questions. Okay. And your next question is, if 3 to the power of x plus y is equal to 81 and 81 to the power of x minus y is equal to 3, then the value of x is here, the base value is 3. 3 to the power of x plus y which is equal to 81 will be written in the format of 3 to the power of 4. Am I right? Now, the base value, base value same. Therefore, x plus y is equal to 4. This is your first equation. And 81 to the power of x minus y is equal to 3. 
81 in the sense 3 to the power of 4 the whole power x minus y which is equal to 3. So 3 to the power of 4x minus 4y which is equal to 3 to the power of 1. Hence the base value base value get cancelled therefore your second equation is 4x minus 4y which is equal to 1. What is the second equation here? 4x minus 4y which is equal to 1. By solving this both equations we get the x value. Here the first equation with multiplied with 4. Hence 4 into x 4x plus 4y which is equal to 16. Here 4x minus 4y which is equal to 1. So minus plus we want to change the signs now so it will be removed and also plus 4x plus 4y plus 4y 8y which is equal to 15 16 minus 1 is 15 hence y is equal to 15 by 8 hence the y value is equal to 15 by 8. Therefore, your first equation is x plus y is equal to 4. I can apply the y value is 15 by 8 which is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 4 minus 15 by 8 means 8 fours are 32 minus 15 divided by 8. So, 32 minus 15 is 32 minus 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 17 by 8. X value is 17 by 8. Your answer is option C. Yeah, this is the example of how we can calculate the unknown value of X and Y. Thank you for watching.